Hey, you guys, we are back to do Bell Collective, child. They got all the drama over there, honey. And so Gucci, y'all said the knot was on her head. Okay, let's get into it. We keep it real. What's going on, Courtney and Eddie? Hey. Now let's put the first. Oh. Oh. What's going on, Courtney and Eddie? Hey. 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 Loosely thrown in here. Courtney, also known as Coco. A.K. Angry Black Woman. <laughs> say something like <laughs> this right here with Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship, reviews, entertainment, and our famous rants. And today, we're going to be talking about Carlos King, best show ever. The Bell Collector. I've been screaming this from the first season. I said it was the best show you had. And I'm sticking to them guns now because everybody's starting to realize that. She even realized that. She said, ain't no, ain't no. Now she's standing well. Yeah, you right, baby. It's the best show he got. So if you're brand new to this channel, again, subscribe yet. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to purchase the tees that we're wearing, make sure you check it out. It should be along this video. And don't forget that we have a virtual dating show. Yes, that is right. It's a, a virtual singles mixer. So um, check it out. Check it out. Check out our last video that we did. It was released on Wednesday. And um, yeah, so much more to come. Yeah, y'all see this? Yeah, I've been working in the sun a lot. You see how my watch been on? That's my real complexion right there. I'm lighter than her. But yeah. She's not. But anyway. <laughs> she take pride in that. She no, he ain't. So, anyway. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, it started out with um, Gucci and talking to... No. So Gucci, put respect on. Oh, her I ain't gonna do that, man. Listen, it's enough. You get Gucci because I went to Sophia Josephine Baker. It's Shantae. It's Sophia, ain't no, it? No, it's Shantae. She even said it. Oh, she said yeah. Shantae. Mm -hmm. Sophia, oh, Miss Sophia, <laughs> she gonna be all right. I'm passing them be Miss Sophia gonna be all. So yeah, I, I, so she good to get that. Okay, she good to get I, that. How many times you gonna do that joke? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably play that part in the, in the play. So anyway, um, so Gucci is talking to her daughter, and she got a grandbaby with her and stuff. So you know, of course, they talking about uh, well, they talking about her daughter's relationship, I guess, with the child's father, her boyfriend, or you know, evidently, I don't think that's her husband. So you know, that they having issues and stuff like that. So they talk about that, and of course, they slid on over and talk about you know, um, Selena the fight. And how the girls not talking to her and won't uh they don't want her to see their grant their children because of the fight and it just seems let, let me tell you something this is a sticky situation it's hard for me to pick a side or choose a side you already had to pick a side and choose a side you already did it i chose a side on what i saw but to go in depth into who right and wrong, I don't know because it seemed like there's been an ongoing battle between these. And that's women. why. That's why I didn't choose a side because I know we didn't. We didn't see everything. Yeah, okay? we didn't see everything. Uh, we didn't see them fall on the floor. Uh -uh. We didn't see the knot on so Gucci head. We didn't see. The we people didn't, did say it's on there, but I, well, didn't. I, I didn't see it. But yeah, we didn't see all that, and that's why so Gucci decided you know, to file a police report. You know what I'm saying? Press charges against. Them. Well, the reason I said that, hey, it to me, okay, it was granted, it was both of them fault. But I'm not saying like Gucci trying to pretend like she's so innocent. She no, was walking down the street, no, and this girl clucked no. upside the head. Oh, I'm filing police report because I was minding my good old nice Christian business. That's right. the way to make. That's the way she making it seem like she didn't do nothing, but she antagonized the situation. I'm still trying to get get over the word cluck. Who said? You did. She got clucked across the head. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get hit. She got clucked. Up. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, and I, that I, I don't like for somebody to to be yeah. all innocent yeah. like they the Virgin Mary. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you know, she, you know, so Gucci, she did have a hand, a hand right. into this. You know what I'm saying? Because she could have easily walked away 
and it said nothing to Selena. You right. walked on off. Even though Selena might be running her mouth, you could easily just walk yeah. on away, walk away from the situation. Because she but, didn't walk away. In fact, she turned around, took them glasses yeah. off, and said, come on. Then she said, you know, and like you said, I totally agree with you when she said, well, why I'm sitting here, standing here arguing with an extra? That was a trigger word for yeah. Selena, you know what I'm saying? And she knew that. She knew that yeah. because that woman been on TV more than, hey, it, Bell Collector doing what it doing, but this girl was on national TV that, like I said, I ain't even watched the Dance of Dog Shot, and I heard about it because it was always but, on the television. So she was on something that was way bigger I than Bell Collector, that, but, and she was trying to make a pun at her. But you still fail to realize what So Gucci said today, uh, last night on the show. What she said? She said, you know, Cause she's she, mad because the spotlight is on her now. Yes, that's what she said. You know, the spotlight is on So Gucci now. You had your chance after the past. The spotlight is on me. That light is so tiny. It's you know, it ain't even the iPhone light. Look at it. that flashlight there. Ooh, flashlight, flashlight. That spotlight. Little girl, so tiny, so tiny. But she said the spotlight on her. <sighs> The hate for So Gucci is real over here. I don't, hate, I don't hate nobody. I'm just commenting on what I see. But no, but so yeah, so but you, let's keep it real. When she said she even had caught spotlights on me now, I did turn yeah. to the wall. <laughs> you did turn to the wall. I, I, uh, hey, I turned to the left. <laughs> <laughs> I did. She mad because I said spotlight on you, girl. How many people was well collected? Go out there and check the rain, son. Last time I checked, it was about hundred. Don't matter, thousand. man. If you get a two hundred thousand, like and I said, I'm sure the dance of dogs got way more. That don't matter. You still That's fail to realize spotlight. the point. Spotlight. The spotlight is on her now. Mm. Not, Not yesterday or last week is on her now. Yeah. Okay, her, you get it. Her and them satin sheet slides. <laughs> Every yeah, time she had that confession on, I be thinking that the boo go pop out because of that satin that said right there. I was like, satin sheets slide. All right. So anyway, so let's move on, honey. Enough of that foolishness. So Akeisha and Latrice are um talking. So Akeisha wanted to get Latrice together because now everybody's so concerned about, you know, Latrice and her marriage and what she got going on. So they doing this painting thing. You always tend to laugh at Latrice when she... When she I don't be honest with you. I, I really do like Latrice. Okay? She, and but Cliff, she's moving. Cliff, don't take offense to her. I'm just saying I like her personality. I like who she mm -hmm. is. <laughs> Leave my woman alone. I'm coming to Birmingham, Alabama. You know, it's right, right across the state line. No, bro. It ain't like you know, that, man. Come on. But yeah, bro. I like her mannerism, man. Latrice mannerism. It's, it, she is and so she, funny. She, and then she, when she be moving. Yeah, she be moving. It's like, it's funny to me, man. And, and, and yeah, I used to like her. So, um, so anyway, so she was talking about, um, you know, the pain. They talked about the strippers and all that stuff, whatever. So Keisha was just saying that she's concerned about um, Treese in her marriage especially you know um you know you need to have an outlet for you to be able to talk to somebody that is married you know it's good to talk to people but is your friend single that can understand what you're going through in your marriage so i'm here if you want to talk and all that stuff and have an outlet you're like girl i'm good you know? <laughs> Girl, girl, what? Girl, she, be, she be doing honey. all the unnecessary movement, man. Girl, what? <laughs> girl, I'm good. What? You know those girls over there, those bills? Hey, I get what Latrice saying. She said, "I wish." I know she probably said, "Just I wish I could open to you, Akisha, but." I know you and so Gucci, y'all best friends. So if I go, if I become no, if I come over there, and give you my, you know, you know, tell you my business and you know, be open with you. Are you gonna go back and tell so Gucci my business? So I can understand that. Yeah, I want to shake the, it. Let's shake it. Uh, let's Girl. do the Latrice, y'all. Do Girl. the Latrice. <laughs> Girl, that goes the new day. Said, said, um, it was saying, um, which, which baby, so like <laughs> <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, I'm good. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let's move on. So, Leticia and um, Gucci are talking. I guess they just needed a thing, so they walked down the um, trail and came on back. So, they were talking about the event that Gucci got coming up. And um, they also talked about Gucci filing police report against Selena and, you know, how everybody pretty much mad at her. So, you know, it's a great divide. It seemed like at one point they were doing good, but now it's divided again. Um, even though she think that the tree set it up, I was like, girl, go on, please, let's move on with that. But. I don't understand this, 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 why So Gucci think that that uh, Latrice set it up. Cause the spotlight is on So Gucci right now, so everybody's gunning for So Gucci. 
I said that. And that's sad, ain't it? <laughs> but of course. Now I'm sure that now that's gonna be a trend, honey. Everybody get you go to the fabric store and grab you some satin, honey, and make you an outfit. So um anyway, so Cliff, they also talked about how Cliff and Latrice, you know, um ran after the thing because they knew that um Cliff was finna get crunk. So Latrice was like, time to go. <laughs> it's time to go so um and so anyway so they talked about that so of course each conversation is about latrice and her marriage that's basically what this about well like akisha was saying to latrice you know your marriage latrice marriage is the subject of jackson mississippi right now so that's why she i thought the bills was it jackson that's what she said that's what's going on yeah was it jackson yeah jackson yeah and that's everybody's talking about her marriage yes so anyway, so Cliff and Latrice are going out on a date, and so you know she uh, having that, that in it, and you know she playing her hair yeah, too, a lot, so yeah. She you know, you know, so she. Talking, I, wonder, I wonder, did she have anxiety? She, or something? I think she said she had nervous energy. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if I read it somewhere. I heard her say that you know she do have nervous energy. It then got better, yeah. but she still be doing. <laughs> to me, it's cute. I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah, it's funny. I think she's funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I like Latrice on the show. I even, do too. Even though it seemed like a lot of stuff is coming out about right. her and Cliff, right. but I do think that they add some oh, yeah. to Cliff yeah. to the show. So um Cliff had came in late, you know, it seemed like they eating at some restaurant, big old Christmas tree in the background. So she said, Oh, well, you're late. And so he said, Well, you know, somebody gotta pay the bills. I said, Oh, that's a dig. That is a dig. One thing about Cliff, he's gonna get his digs in. That's a dig, honey. You don't care who's against his wife or his own boy, he's gonna get his digs in. Um, so she tell Cliff that, you know, she said she got something to tell him, you know, something that she forgot to tell him that um she signed a, a contract for her edge control um uh, with this company called Ultra. And I think it's Ultra, not Ultra. Ultra. It's Ultra. Cause I thought it was Ultra like Ultra Combo. But it's you know, Ulta. Ulta. Yeah. And uh, and most of the women know what Ulta is, honey. Get up there and spend too much money. And so anyway, so and so he started getting his feelings. He said, Oh, you did it? when you signed it. She's about two weeks ago. He said, You just not telling me. And I told you any contracts that you sign, you need to talk to me first. Don't be out here signing contract. She was like, Well, I do this all the time. So I know I read did you have an attorney? Yes. Um and stuff like that. So in my opinion, I feel as though Clem got mad because I do understand their team, their couple, they married. But I felt like that she done done stuff like this in the past, and he had to bail her out because he acted you get an attorney because you could be signing contracts for stuff and it don't gonna benefit you at all. It'll benefit the people that you sign a contract with. Yeah, and you know, this this is the one the, the one time I agree with Cliff, you know what I'm saying? Because if you marry and you know, even though you know, it's her business and but apparently Cliff is tied into that business some kind of way, uh, if she don't come through, it falls back on him, like you said. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you're gonna sign contracts, both of them should be read that contract in my opinion, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Even though it's her product but he's still tied into that product or uh, business some kind of way. He should have had, he should have been there to, you know, to read the contract also, in my opinion. That's yeah. just my opinion. And that's what Cliff mad at. And then y'all know that time when he was selling, when she moved out of wherever she was, and he said, I've been told you to move out here and get your own building. Cliff has a lot of say so, even though she said, I'm self made, this is mine. Oh, cool. Ain't got nothing to do with it, blah, blah, blah. I built this by myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cliff got a lot to do with it. Well, I think Cliff got a lot of good business sense, too. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get where he was or where he's at now, you know, just being Cliff. So apparently he's been making some moves in Jackson, Mississippi, you know, to get where he's at. And so I, I'm, I'm assuming the man know he might sound country, he might right. sound. But it, apparently he knows business. So. Yep. Cliff also was just, um, as he was just saying that too, is that, like I said, I think Cliff, you know, got a, a lot to do with it and plays a part in it. Um, Latrice, you know, she was just getting upset because Cliff walked out, honey. Forget this Mexican food, child. You eat it yourself. So um, Cliff got up and, and walked out and, you know, she was like, oh, she was so embarrassed, you know, check, please. I was like, that work here. And um and so 
she was, you know, starting to tee up at the table. So when she got ready to walk out, she was telling Cliff, because he was, you know, I guess production said, go on back in that film. No, he, he was standing outside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so talking. she walked up to her and she said, listen, I know you're upset. You know, just basically catering to his feelings and emotions. I'm like, dude, you don't want to lift me in and get out my face. Get out my face. Don't talk to me right now. I'm upset. <laughs> Why will I never see her do like that? Well, Cliff, Cliff got always the... go off well, on Cliff had the right to be upset this time. But it, it doesn't matter. Cliff always go off on this I girl. get that. Cameras or not, he's always... I get but that. she don't never say, listen, no, you're not going to do that to me. Get out my face. I'm mad. Yada, 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 yada. To me, that first of all, Cliff didn't get in her face. Cliff left. He no, what... no, no. I'm just saying oh. when they was walking toward each other. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At that point, I thought she was gonna say, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you walked out on me. Uh, uh, we'll talk about this later because I don't want to talk about it now." But she was like, "Well, you know, she just still catering to him." But she talked all this boss talk when he ain't around. I ain't finna go home. He gonna miss me. Da 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 da. But then when it's fake, you trying to. Woo woo woo. She can't mess up what she got going on. That's why. But anyway, um, she get in the car and she start crying, honey, still, because you know, this ain't here for So, you know, she shouldn't have signed that contract, child. Yeah. And I believe she's <laughs> I believe she told him on camera on purpose, child. Because I feel like the blow was gonna be lighter than what we got. Like mm-hmm. what you call it said, if he disrespecting you in public, child, what's behind closed doors? No Y'all doubt. already don't sneak together. So let's move on to uh, Letitia contacted the, the local news. So Keisha came on down there with the camera and, uh, and the mic. And I, not not to make fun, but some of them do travel like that. You know what I'm saying? If they got the local news and stuff, the people that's yeah, out there in the field, like they, said, they, they know, got to have the camera and they Jackson's, got to set up everything. Jackson's not a big city. For her to come out there by herself with the camera and mic, that don't surprise me. Yeah. So, um... So anyway, she wanted to get the the local news there to talk about her brunch. She talked about that. She was excited, all that stuff, whatever. And then here come Marie. Marie come in with now. Let me tell you something. I know I'm always, you know, Marie ain't my fan favorite. She can ebb and flow with me. Sometimes I like her. Sometimes, eh. But I do like her hair. I, I'm glad she got rid of them finger waves because it's too hot for that. But that gel and all that stuff been melted. But that hair, yeah, she looks good this time. Now she got rid of that blonde wig. Praise him, hallelujah! But that hair, that's that's her staple right there. You keep going with that. If you watch us, Marie, well, let me tell you, Essie, tell Marie because Essie be watching us. Uh, Marie, I like that hair girl. Uh, Essie don't watch us no more. Yeah, because she don't be on the show. Yeah, no, Marie said, don't be watching no more. Okay, <laughs> I ain't gonna watch no more. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> As they sitting there talk, you know, she came in. Um, Latrice, Letitia was just telling her, you know, I want you to be on the panel with Latrice. Oh. And it went from there. I said, what is we talking about? I said, Marie, here you go again, reaching back 200 years for a storyline. Come on, man. You're going to be on a professional panel. You know, you don't even have to talk to Latrice. Just get on the panel and state your business and that's it. But ah, you trying to get us back together? How did how she trying to get y'all back together when y'all on a professional panel? Right. I don't get it, man. And they show old clips and all that stuff, whatever. Then it diverted from that to you need to apologize, apologize. And I'm saying, what? And La- Letitia was like, apologize for what? It seemed like La- Marie want Letitia to apologize because uh, Latrice lied and she admitted that she lied and they showed the reunion, whatever. And she, uh, some of that time she was sitting with Etsy and um, she lied and all that stuff. So anyway, they argued back and forth. But then Letitia ended up saying, I apologize. And there was yeah. some tears shed and all that she stuff. Hugged. She said that's what she wanted. Then all of a sudden, all that's, yeah, hey, apologize, apologize. I'm sorry. Marie. Okay. Mm. How she did? Mm. Yeah, she liked <laughs> <that>. <laughs> And so um, then she asked, you know, switch real quick. Marie asked, you know, what's up with you and Glenn? And she was like, well, you know, Glenn is trying to court me, kind of date me now. So she was like, date you? Like, girl. Like Marie, like Marie say, man, you know, Letitia ain't going to leave that man. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Because it was her. She would have been left. But, you know, uh, she ain't going to leave. Uh, she ain't, she's not going to leave MCG. So let's move on. So Latrice is... um. 
staying at her brother's house because um he didn't embarrass her on TV. So See, now I told you there. Latrice is gonna stand up for herself. She showed a clip. I'm going to my brother's house for two weeks. And he know you and he probably got cameras or, or some honey got your know, car track. No, he probably he probably got a drone. See, See what she had. Go ahead, drone pilot. Yeah, drone flying a little car. Yeah. Ain't all color. You can do that now. Yeah, you can. So um, so anyway, she invite her mom over. Now, is it me? Did y'all know that the mom get cuter and cruder every time she on TV? Come on now. You know that's right. Y'all heard the people cry now. Make mama look good. In fact, she looked younger. No, she did. So, she um, did. so mama came over there and started talking. Now, mama is not here for the mess with the cliff thing. Now, that's your marriage. That's your man. You do what's best for you. But me, I would have been a I think she said click basic click the uh, side the head, honey, if it was me. So um Latrice was just saying that she's staying over there because you know she wanna teach her husband a lesson, not to do this no more. Um, she need a break from business and marriage, not just marriage, but business. So she got um uh, what's his name? Josh. Josh running the shop and all that stuff. Um she said that Cliff is gonna is afraid that she is going that he's going to lose her so that's why i think he has all these outbursts and and treat her the way she he treats basically her. what she's saying that cliff has control of her and now she's trying to grow on her own cliff feel like he's losing control of the situation uh, losing control over the marriage losing control over her and he's scared of that and uh and she said i'm trying to be my own person you won't allow me to be my own person she said my first mistake was calling him a zaddy I said, yeah, man, because now you're looking for a daddy. And Cliff said, okay, you're looking for a daddy. I'm going to be your daddy. Now, all of a sudden, you don't want me to be your daddy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you start off something, start off something one way, it's kind of hard to change up on that person yeah. and to go a different way with it. Now, this man said you want a daddy. He's trying to be your dad. Now, you don't like it. Yep. And mom said, well, you don't need nobody to raise you because I raised you. So, you know, um, so she admit that she was wrong for, you know, calling him that and all that stuff. So she going to call him husband or Cliff, you know. Um, she said that she was going to stay there another week. She was going to stay at the brother house, get Cliff another week and for him to learn his lesson and all that stuff or whatever. I said, another week, child. Cliff, I said, what? All right, you going to be up for another week? Do, do, do. Hey, Selena, what you doing, girl? Oh. Mm, come on over here, man. I got the house to myself. Oh. Got, oh, yeah, I got it to myself for a whole week. Ooh. Just you and I. Ooh. Now, one thing about it, too, is that I'm going to throw a little shade. If y'all, the boss chick, y'all ain't got no property nowhere. But I guess you want to get somewhere that Cliff ain't got. Girl, you should have been saving you up for, for some little house or some place that you can go. But of course, they ain't staying in the same bedroom. It's just weird. Anyway, um, so let's move on. So they're doing a the holiday giveaway, holiday giver. And, you know, it's um, Gucci and it's JJ's event. I guess Gucci the most. I don't know. Um, so they all, all the bells there and all this stuff. So they're doing a the donation. They're giving to the community. Um, the, um, the news, there they go. The news people pop up again. I said they news station, honey, is getting they shine on. Oh, yeah, they were. So um, Gucci was over. No. Latrice was over there and she said, Come on over here, Gucci. This, you know, this your thing. So they talked to the local news and stuff like that. I personally would like Latrice and Gucci to get along, you know what I'm saying? Because I do think that they fun together. Um, and, and all of them to get along, to be honest. Actually, I'm gonna put this out there. I like the bells together, I mean, in good space, even high pitched Tamara. You know, I like when they get when they together, I like when they in the good space because to me, once you know when they together they can get things done you know what i'm saying <coughs> and uh when they doing all this arguing back and forth and cutting each other down it looks so tacky and whatnot and, mm -hmm. you know it's not a good look and i know they do it for tv for the shock that your television but hey, yeah we over it, honey. yeah i like to i like to i like to see it when y'all y'all hit on all cylinders man y'all getting it done um yeah and marie please girl this your last make it your last season to talk about you and latrice not being oh she a snake please let's, let's yeah let's all i see that. this is what they need to do all right carlos this is what you need to do for marie i think you was going with the you was going into the right direction with marie with the dating thing when she dating them guys 
it should have stuck with that, in my yeah. opinion. You know what I'm saying? Let her find her a new man. Let her go out, go out on dates. You know what I'm saying? That's what we want to see. Reaching back to these old storylines, story oh, that's kind of played. You it know what I'm saying? So, man. yeah, let her go out there and try to find new love. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I want to see. Um, So, she is... Okay, so Latrice wants to sit down and talk to... I mean, Latisha wants to sit down and talk to Latrice about, you know, Cliff. And basically saying, like you were saying, you know, um, girl, we all concerned about your marriage, honey. Um, everything that's going on, your marriage is the... Com- I don't know about Jackson. I ain't right, Jackson. But anyway, she said, your marriage is the conversation. Like, that is the convo. She was like, what, girl? I don't think she did a lot of shaking in this. But um, so she was like, what, girl, what? And so she was like, girl, I'm good. My marriage is good, girl. Latrice, this is one, this is, this is one problem I do have, have with Latrice. She's in denial. I don't think she's in denial. I think she knows her marriage is in trouble, but she's, the one, she's trying to live up to the image she's trying to portray. With the girls. Yeah, with the girls, but. You know, hey, if, if your marriage is shaky, you know, just be honest with everybody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We're not saying we're not saying we try to be into your business, man. But stuff like that, when you got your girlfriends around you, they can give you some kind of support. And the way things are looking, man, sometimes that stuff can get a little dangerous, man. Yeah, I, I, first of all, I know she don't trust none of them girls. I get it, saying? but still, um, Josh is the one that was actually speaking and saying stuff about your mm. marriage and Cliff and all that stuff, whatever. So, you know, um, she was just saying, um, La- Latisha was just saying, girl, you trying to cover it up, but we can see it. And I can see that Latrice looked like she was going to be full of tears in that moment. Oh, yeah. You know, you could see her eyes be full of tears, but she kind of pulled it back. So um, she was just saying, you know, Cliff disrespect you. Like, if he disrespect you in public, then ain't no telling what he doing behind closed doors. So we here for you, but, you know, um, yeah, your marriage is, is truly the conversation, the topic of conversation with a lot of people right about now because of how Cliff been treating you so anyway on that note you guys that's pretty much all we got um we will see you guys on the next video don't forget to go with god and let god go with you i was put god first hey. i was put god